Can you find the mistake in this proof? Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some problem posted on Facebook. So today, I will show you that pi equals 3. So let's start with this equation. We have x equals pi plus 3 all over 2. First step is to multiply 2 both sides. If you do that, we get 2x equals pi plus 3. Next, multiply both sides by pi minus 3. So we get 2x multiplied by pi minus 3 equals pi plus 3 multiplied by pi minus 3. On the right hand side, we can apply special products. And on the left side, we can distribute 2x. If we do that, we get 2 pi x minus 6x equals pi squared minus 9. Next, we can subtract 2 pi x on both sides and add 9 both sides. If we do that, we get 9 minus 6x equals pi squared minus 2 pi x. Next, let's add x squared on both sides. Now notice that both sides of this equation are now factorable. The left hand side can be factored as 3 minus x multiplied by 3 minus x. And on the right hand side, it can be factored as pi minus x times pi minus x. Therefore, we have 3 minus x quantity squared equals pi minus x quantity squared. The next step is we take the square root on both sides. If we take the square root both sides, the two squares cancel out. So we have 3 minus x equals pi minus x. Now, if we add x both sides, we cancel out negative x on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side. Therefore, we have 3 equals pi. And there you go, pi equals 3. And we know, pi is not equal to 3. Therefore, your goal now is to find out which line in this proof is incorrect. Or should I say, which line in this proof is not always true? Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video right now. And if you're ready, here's the solution. And I hope you pause this video. Now let's see if you got the correct answer. Now let's take the first line. So we have x equals pi plus 3 all over 2. On the second line, we multiply both sides by 2. And that's legal. So this is correct. The next step, we multiply both sides by pi minus 3. So again, this is correct. Next, we use special products on the right hand side and distribute on the left side. So we have... 2 pi x minus 6 x equals pi squared minus 9. So this is correct. Next, we add 9 both sides and we subtract 2 pi x on both sides. And that's legal. This is also correct. On the next line, we add x squared on both sides. Since we add on both sides, therefore this line is correct. Now, we factor both sides and that's correct. That's fine. Here comes the trick. Now, if we take the square root on both sides, we get two possible solutions. We have a positive and a negative result. Therefore, the next line is not always true. It can be false. And as you can see, we have a false proof that pi is equal to 3. Now, let's see why this line is incorrect. So, let's focus on this equation. Now, if we take the square root on both sides, take note that if we have x squared equals c and we take the square root on both sides, we get that x equals positive or negative square root of c. We have two possible solutions. Therefore, we can say that 3 minus x equals positive or negative pi minus x. Therefore, we have two cases. The first one is 3 minus x equals positive pi minus x. And the second case must be 3 minus x equals negative pi minus x. Now, on the first case, we know already that this is not correct because it will give us that pi equals 3. Now, in solving quadratic equation, we have two possible solutions. But not all is a valid solution. There are times that we get an extraneous solution. In mathematics, 
An extraneous solution is a solution to the equation that emerges from the process of solving the problem but is not a valid solution to the problem. So, we can say that in first case, we got an extraneous solution. Now, let's move on to the other case. What if 3 minus x equals negative of pi minus x? If we distribute the negative sign, we get an answer of negative pi plus x. Next, combine similar terms and we get that 3 plus pi equals 2x. Now, swap the terms on the left side and the right side of this equation and we get that 2x equals pi plus 3. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, we get that x equals pi plus 3 all over 2. Now, since we get the equation that we started with, we can say that this case is absolutely correct. Therefore, we can say that the mistake in our proof is this line. And as always, we're done.